Ali, that's beautiful as usual. Next up we have Rewa for open mic and after that we'll be with the music section. Uh. Hello. Hi. I'm just gonna do one quick poem. There's so much to say, but I will not say it. It's um it's called Leaving Terminal D, and uh, just really quickly, I used to live in Dubai, I used to live in Lebanon before I moved to Michigan. And I always find myself, I used to live in the US way before that, so there's always this leaving, I'm always leaving somewhere, going somewhere else. So I wrote this poem when I left Dubai to Beirut uh, in 2015, and I was packing all my stuff, and just the first sentence, like the first line came to me, and. Uh, I grabbed it and I grabbed a pen and I was like, okay, let me just write this down. And I was fixated on the moving company's um, boxes. There was like this moving company stuffing all our stuff in the boxes. There was a logo on the box and I just fixated on the logo and this is what, this is what came up. And the reason why it's called Terminal D is because Dubai is always somewhere that you go before you go somewhere else. So it always feels like you're at like a terminal, like at an airport very transient and um, so on and so forth so leaving terminal D four skinny men who speak broken Arabic help me fold the last five and a half years into big white boxes the line you deserve the best is printed in thick red letters on each side of each box and what looks like a silhouette of a seagull makes up the moving company's logo but the wings are too long so I think maybe it's an eagle and I am making a mess in the hallway outside my apartment where a giant roll of bubble wrap stands tall like an ancient Greek column over a dusty bicycle that I hadn't touched in months. A neighbor walks by with what looks like her daughter. The yellow of spinnies drips from their fists. She smiles at my life scattered in pieces on the floor. And before I get the chance to apologize for the mess, she asks in English if I am moving. And before I get the chance to answer, it suddenly dawns on her that I am Arab. So she switches to Habibte, and again in Arabic to please come by for some coffee. And the whole time I am thanking her in two languages and saying Kilik zo, like my mother would say, and Tislami, like a grown up. I've only just met this woman, even though we've lived on the same floor for years. Her daughter looks back at me as they walk towards their air-conditioned apartment and something inside me wants to call her back and ask if she thinks the image on the box looks like a seagull or more like an eagle. I want to ask which bird I can finally be when I leave. Thank you. Wow. Wow.